Welcome back, everybody. There's nothing worse than, you know, that little tickle you feel in your throat when you just know you're about to get sick. Well, our guest today says you can actually keep that from ever happening again. It sounds kind of hard to believe. Dr. Raymond Francis joins us live now from Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Hi there, doctor. Hey, how are you? Good, good. I'm so glad we could make this work out. So you have this book that's called Never Be Sick Again, and that sounds amazing, but it's hard to believe. Well, it may be hard to believe because we don't experience that, but it's true. And the thing is this, you know, here's what people need to know. The technology exists to not be sick. We already, the information we already have is sufficient to prevent and reverse this epidemic of chronic disease that we have in America. And as you pointed out, you don't even have to have a cold. And I can tell you that I have had, in the past 26 years, I've had one cold, and I have a very good excuse for that one cold. So uh, <laughs> I'm 75 years old, I'm in perfect health, uh, I don't take any medications whatsoever. I have boundless energy. I have a clear mind. I don't have an ache or a pain in my body. I'm living proof that you can be uh, that you can be healthy and you don't need to be sick. Now, I think I've kind of started to take it for granted that I'm going to get one cold every year, and I just I plan ahead for that. And I think a lot of people live like that. I can't imagine a life where you never even get a cold. How, what, so, what are you doing? <laughs> well. Um, I have to tell you, at age 48, I almost died. Uh, my death was a medical certainty. And I had to save my, use my own knowledge of biochemistry to save my life and then to restore my health. And that's what got me interested. Almost dying really got my, caught my interest. Uh, what I do, I changed my diet. I changed my lifestyle. I've learned how to eat good food. Uh, I take very high quality supplements. In fact, I had to uh, I now make my own supplements and sell them, very, very high quality. Um, I uh, get regular exercise. Uh, uh, I meditate on a regular basis. Uh, so in, in short, I change my diet, I change my lifestyle, uh, and I take very high quality supplements, and that's why I'm so healthy. So what are some changes that all of us can take? Because not everyone is able to you know, make their own supplements in their home. So what are some simple things that we can do right now to keep ourselves from getting sick again? Okay, well, simple things. You know, if you want to do one thing and only one thing, get off of sugar. Sugar is a deadly metabolic poison. Uh, and if you look at it from a biochemical standpoint as to what happens to you when you eat sugar, uh, I wish I had a blackboard here right now and I, <laughs> I, whole, I could fill a whole wall wow. with what happens when you eat just one teaspoon of sugar. Now what about the sugar in say like fruit or apple juice or something like that? Well apple juice no, but, but fruit, if you eat a piece of fruit that's okay. okay. A fruit juice is not okay because you get too much bioavailable sugar and you get a sugar spike in your blood. But when you get a sugar, you can eat one teaspoon of sugar. Within two hours, your immunity will be reduced by 50%. And then people say, oh, I caught a cold. No, you didn't. You reduce your immunity and you then made yourself susceptible to an infection. So that's why I don't get colds. I don't get infections because I keep my immunity strong. I don't eat sugar. All because of sugar. So that bag of jelly beans we've been passing around here in the newsroom ever since Easter, that's something that's hurting us. Bad idea. Bad <laughs> idea. Uh, yeah, you don't want, you don't want to do that. Um, uh, sugar, is, as I say, is a deadly metabolic poison. And what I mean by that is that it screws up all of your biochemistry. Um, just, just one or two teaspoons of sugar will throw your normal biochemistry into chaos for a period of six to eight hours. And that's not very much sugar. It doesn't that's sound like a lot. Sugar, you know, one, one, one cola drink has about 10 to 12 teaspoons. So you eat one to two teaspoons, your body is gonna be in biochemical chaos for six to eight hours. Now, health is when all of your biochemistry is balanced and all your chemistry is working right. When you eat sugar, you throw that balance out 
for six to eight hours. So if you eat sugar in the morning, you know, put some sugar in your coffee or have a, a breakfast cereal with, with a contained sugar and then have more sugar at lunch and more sugar in the evening, guess what? Your body is going to be in biochemical chaos 24 hours a day. So what's, a, what's a good amount then to get on a daily basis? None. None? None, yeah. Uh, I'm sugar in trouble. Basically should be outlawed. Uh, we should not, uh, and here we allow children, you know, we don't allow children to smoke cigarettes. We don't allow children to drink alcohol, uh, but we allow them to buy sugar and eat sugar. Sugar is far more dangerous than alcohol or cigarettes. Really? Yeah, I was going to ask you, what do parents need to do? Because you're going to have a hard time convincing your child who wants candy right <laughs> now that that's not good for them. Right. I, I, I understand the problem. I'm well aware <laughs> of it. But um, you asked the question, what can people do? That's one thing anybody right. can do to improve their health. Sugar causes every imaginable disease. For example, Alzheimer's. Sugar is the leading cause of Alzheimer's. Uh, sugar is a major cause of cancer, a major cause of heart disease, a major cause of diabetes. Uh, this is, you know, it's, it's a major cause of colds and flu. Sugar is a deadly metabolic poison. Get off of it. Now, let me ask you, how did you come to this understanding of sugar? Because if, if it's so bad, why aren't we hearing about this all over the place? A lot of, you know, my doctors never told me not to eat sugar. Yeah, well, your doc nobody ever told your doctor, and your doctor is not doing the research to find out. And the sugar industry um, spends so much money on, on campaign contributions to members of Congress uh, that sugar is actually subsidized in America. Uh, it should be outlawed and it's subsidized. Wow, and, and it's hard to convince people not to eat it because it tastes so good. That's why we all love it, <laughs> you know? Now, it does taste good. I, I want to ask you, how does this all apply to allergies? I'm actually fighting some allergies right now. I don't know if you can tell, but, I'll, you know, I feel a little bit sick on a daily basis, and it's because of allergies, not a cold. Can you affect allergies this way?